Jarquez and Pig have, between the two of them, have more catches than every other receiver. Did you kind of envision those two guys kind of becoming, having that role in the offense? Um, yeah, I mean, I was hoping they would. You know, I, I, I didn't really know what we had, to be quite honest with you, until we got into the, the meat of it. Um, but uh, we certainly need, uh, you know, those other guys to keep on coming and step up and uh, give those guys some help. But they've, uh, they've done a nice job up in this point. How have you seen Marquez kind of grow throughout the season and, and maybe compare him now to what he was when he, you know, back in August? Yeah. Um, most improved guy, for sure, as far as on the field. You know, I mean, he's light years ahead of where he was when he came in. He's still learning. This will be a, a great next two weeks for him, a great, you know, hopefully bowl, great off season. I mean, he should be a different player again when we jog out in the spring and a different player when we jog out in the fall. So I can't say enough about him. I love coaching him. He's, he's a great kid to coach. He's what you want to coach. He does anything you ask him to do. With Big, he's Coach Jones and, and, and Big both talked about how kind of putting everything together off the field has helped him on the field. Is there a, a light that flipped on for him, or did you guys have to push him to start doing some more stuff off the field? With Big? Of, yeah. Um, yeah, I, don't, I just don't think uh, – Pig really knew, you know, and I still think he's trying to find his way a little bit on how to be a big time player at this level. Um, I, he didn't really have anyone last year to kind of show him the ropes uh, that way to be a consistent guy all the time. Um, he just got kind of thrown in there as a, as a freshman, just kind of ran around, um, but really didn't know how off the field how to take care of himself, uh, how to study the game, didn't really understand how to be a big time guy in meetings and be a trusted guy. And he's He's slowly but surely starting to starting to become that. So again, he should be a different guy when we jog out here in the next couple of weeks to off season, to spring, to summer. Butch kind of picked on him today, talking to him about Antonio Brown and, and McClung. Does he say that because he he thinks he has that kind of ability, that kind of potential to be one of those guys? Yeah, yeah, I, I think so. I think uh, we're never going to let these guys get complacent at, at, at anything they do. Mm -hmm. I mean, Ant Antonio Brown's such a great, he leads the NFL in receptions. He played that exact position with the yeah. exact terminology, got coached by the exact same guy. So, yeah, we're going to compare our slots to Antonio Brown. That's what we expect. You know, and here's one of the best players in the NFL. We kind of expect that. But that didn't happen overnight either. Mm -hmm. That was a process. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're trying to teach Pig and the rest of these guys that it's a process to becoming that. But we're not going to let you, you know, not do the things to try and become that. Mm hmm Good questions. <laughs> More Antonio Brown question. <laughs> Anything else? Have you, have you ever, I guess, gone through a, a, a game like this, a senior day type game, where you didn't have it in the seniors? Yeah, I did. I did uh, once at Western Kentucky, um, Wisconsin, last year, no seniors. So, yeah, I have. It's, it's, it's strange. I kind of like it, though, to be honest with you. One less uh, thing to worry it's about. It's one less thing to worry about, really. It is. It's one less thing to worry about. All the senior meetings that coach has to have, I get all my guy. I don't have to do that yet, and which is really cool because I'm trying to develop a group here. It's, hopefully, it'll be the same group that's sitting in there next year, added with some some freshmen. You know, so instead of trying to teach these guys in six months and then they all leave because they're seniors, so it's nice to have them all back. Is it kind of interesting with the with the matchup maybe in this game because Vanderbilt's defense that seems to just not make a lot of mistakes. Yeah. You know, maybe the yeah. guys play collectively better than the talent because of the system and because they've been together for a while. And then you, I guess, match that up with what, what you've got here. How much difference is there just in terms of that sort of chemistry that develops I think, over time? I think that their, their experience, and I can speak on the back end, their experience in the secondary is, is a tremendous advantage for them. You know, those, those four guys have played a lot of football. And then they have a young guy in Paris Head, number 21, who's becoming a, a pretty good little player himself. Uh, so their experience, as opposed to our inexperience, certainly advantages them into that point. So we're going to have to have to play our best ball to, to match up to a group of guys that's played a lot of football together. Is that becoming, a, 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 I guess, more and more of a rare thing to see in college football these days where you see there's been not only a head coach but several position coaches who have been there for several years together and can build that sort of camaraderie because, you know, coaches have never moved around more than they do now. So I guess right. is that just kind of rare now to see that? Um, it seems that way, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know yeah. if I could speak on the exact numbers, but it certainly seems that way, yeah. So any continuity you can have in your program and, and able to develop kids for four years, yeah, it's, you're going to see a noticeable difference than bouncing around. Tennessee's a great example, position coach after position coach after position coach, and, you know, it, yeah, you don't develop that, that culture in your room. So how much difference do you expect to see in your guys maybe to this time? 
next year. You know, when you just have an entire, you, know, you have a couple springs, yeah. you have a couple of summer workout sessions to really kind of build that. I'm really excited about it. I really, really am. Now they know what the expectations are. They know, you know, what the grind of the season is like. Um, I, I'm really excited to, to, to enter into that that portion of the of their development and add some 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 of these freshmen, some of these mid-year guys, some of the guys coming next summer, add them in. Now I don't have to teach them all at once. I have the guys that are here helping them. Hey, there's what Coach G expects. You know, it, so it's not all brand new. I'm 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 really excited about that. So hopefully we can take a, a major step forward here as as these last two games come and hopefully a, a third game after that and, and then then uh, spring.